Hi everyone, my name is Brantley Brumley. I'm bringing a course to you by Pact Publishing entitled Hands-On Blender 3D Modeling. Maybe you've seen recent movies or video games and you want to be a part of the action as far as creating 3D characters and models like you see in those scenes. Well, you've come to the right place. Maybe you don't want to spend a ton of money on a 3D modeling program. Blender 3D Modeling program is just for you. It's free. You can download it right off the internet. We're going to go through that in this course. We're actually going to have a complete overview of a Blender 3D workflow in this course. We're going to go from A to Z. A little bit about me. I've been a game and computer enthusiast since I could read, maybe even a little before that. It's been a few years now since I've branched out and I've been trying to do what I love full time, which is create video games. Successfully created a 2D video game that's currently in the Apple App Store early of 2018. It's entitled Farting Frankie, if you want to check it out. I know the name's a little crass. It's just a fun arcade game that was fun to build, and I enjoyed it. Since then, I've been working on 3D games. I haven't fully published one yet, but I found another love that I part of the workflow. I found a love of creating 3D art for the game. There's a lot of assets that you need to be able to create a 3D game. 3D characters, 3D weapons, items, armor, you name it for a game. That has to be created. So I downloaded Blender 3D and have been using it ever since. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do a quick course overview of what you're going to have in this course. In this course, we'll start by going to the website, Blender, and downloading the software and installing it. Then we will change some settings around and I'll show you how to do some settings that I feel are for a better workflow. We'll also learn navigation, navigating around within Blender, seeing how to look at different items in different ways. Then section two will be creating a base mesh of Lego motorcycle to start and I'll show you how that works. Section three we will begin sculpting in our base meshes and adding detail to our items. And uh, that'll be really fun. Uh, section four, we will then use retopology to be able to retopologize our objects. And I'll explain more of what that is when we get to that section. Section five will be unwrapping our objects and baking maps so that we can export them into the world. Section five will be texturing, adding color, Section 6 will work on character rigging and learn how to add bones to our characters so that they can be animated. And then finally in Section 7, we will be exporting and I will be teaching about how to export and the different file types. So we have a lot to do, a lot to cover, a lot of material to cover, great information. Uh, get you up and running and using Blender 3D and being able to create awesome 3D objects. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the course.